as well. So I'm recording this video in a stream and in a camera. And my name is Viktor Furso. I'm a biologist, I'm an entomologist. And today this video is about monsters hornets in Ukraine, to be precise. Monsters in Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. And why I'm recording this video? Because, you know, hornets, they are really dangerous wasps. And they are just growing, developing during the summer season and also autumn season. And they are becoming extremely dangerous, especially in autumn, because of the number of them becoming so large. And that's why it's very difficult to fight against them. Because this is a real battle was today. <coughs> I'm really tired. Because my friends invited me just in suburb of city of Kiev just to fight with the nest, with the nest of hornets. And you know, you see here I keep this big box with the hornets. Well, but they're dead. This is a collection for exposition for lectures. But the hornets alive, they are very dangerous because they are stinging. And especially in autumn time, they are stinging very, very well and very dangerously. Because hornet is big, by the way, because it's big and can sting very much, very, and many times, many times. If a honeybee can sting you just once, in next one sting once, in sting the next one, and if honey, honeybee they are dying. But hornets can sting several times, several times, and this is very dangerous, and they are flying very quickly, and they are really big, they are really big hornets. And by the way, we are sitting, we are not sitting, we are already dead here. These are hornets, these are dead hornets, and these are queens. These are queens of hornets. Hmm. Sorry, I came to my friends to kill some hornets because they became very dangerous in their suburb house because their number increased uh, drastically rusty really so they started to fly around everywhere they flew around everywhere the countryside house they came to the light in the evening time and they came to the kitchen they came in they started to buy they make noise just in front of window in evening time, so they became very dangerous. And if some people uh, have children, or with, even without children, hornet uh, becoming very dangerous. That's why I came to this place, and I paid all my efforts just to finish this nest. And nest was very big, so very big. You know, nest was uh, about this size. You know, this size diameter was at least. 40-45 centimeters, and I'm not exaggerating. This size of nest was so big, really big, and was in the attic, just under the roof, under the roof, in the attic, or just over the house. So I used uh, special equipment just to come on steps, just to the roof. And of course, already just near the house was very visible because we flew around everywhere. A lot of uh, walkers. Uh, but I used my equipment, very sp special equipment, not uh, this small mm, uh, aquatic net, but big uh, entomological nest, net, butterfly net, and also another equipment for, to collect them just without pesticide. Um, but this is another story, and of course I had a very good equipment. I used uh, this is a beekeeping mask. Well, this a uh, lot like this one, like this one, you know, you know. Of course, this is uh, this costume actually from my friend Dave who came to Ukraine last year. And he visited beekeeping farm, and he remained just for fun. So this is very convenient. This is convenient for honey bees, but not for hornets, because you see here this sleeve is open. For hornets, they have a very long, very long sting. It can sting you through your clothes, through your clothes, especially to open 
your hands, fingers, everywhere. So this is even a, in this costume you need to use special equipment. Special equipment, definitely. So this, to use this mask, not, not enough. So I had a very strong equipment, so I was protected very well. So that's why I collected, by the way, many queens. Very dead, sorry about it. And here some alive males, some alive males. And this is part, part of the nest, nest. Yes, all these combs, this paper combs. And of course, yeah, I, was, I was very tight. I tied very much. I have tied very much. I was sweat completely. Completely. That's why I'm drinking this not a uh, uh, red wine. This is <laughs> this is just a juice. <laughs> this is a grape juice. Well, really, one liter at least. One liter. All all my clothes were wet. Well, but what's about the nest? Nest was big, so you see this was the top. This was a really top, which was attached to some places. Well, this is a good one. And then there was another comps like this one. I can show you just one. Not many, because others were already became with adults. Because here some... Oh, sorry, be careful. Some larvae growing. So this is a nest. These are part of nest. Several of these Several of these nice combs were united all together like a saucer ball, very big one, and I showed you 40 centimeters large. 40 centimeters large, and you see larvae were sitting inside these cells just with the head down, and hornet adults were feeding them definitely. He already were not feeding because I eliminated them. And so they are sitting in another place, but nevertheless, and here some small sticks, yeah, like this. So it was attached to the attic as well. So despite it is it's heavy, so it was attached very well to the attic, to the roof, and even the heavy weight was enough just to keep it strong and alive and working and of course this nest is covered with special paper protection like leaves like paper leaves well this is a very normal construction of european hornet vespa corabro in europe some people know vespa velutina became very dangerous invasive species but we have vespa corabro which is also dangerous because it can sting very well. I exterminated many workers, but also I collected all nests inside this box and in another one, in two boxes. Two boxes with combs full of larvae and cocoons and you know some adults were just image from cocoons and we are walking, walking around, just running around, trying to fly. I can try to show it here. The on camera light is better, so more visible how we are walking around. Yeah, like this. I hope so. In daytime, morning time will be better visible. Yeah, so we're walking around. Here some males and some females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, this is with males with a long antenna and females with a short antenna but very big very big because females two times bigger than males but fortunately not males were not stinging so I can show them to you so you can recognize oh yes on a stream yeah who is here yes on this here here on this side this is a male smaller one and slender and in the center and in the center, under my face, this is a big monster, big monster, and really this is a queen. Queen is very big, 
and here, oh yeah, here three, three another queens. <coughs> it might be a little bit visible. On the camera will be better visible, so because we are running around. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Male is running on the con continue. We continue our story about hornets because the camera stopped. Flash memory just was limited and showed me just zero minutes, zero seconds. Well, so we have males and females, and here I have males. Males not so dangerous. Males they are not stinging. But if you don't know that males are there, do not stinging. Do not try to make experiments because males were very similar, actually, by the way, to workers. But workers were females, and queens also were females, and females were stinging, stinging. And by the way, hornets we can sting several times. We are stinging several times, and that's why they are very painful. They are stinging very much, and the host of the, uh, this. My friends who invited me for liquidation of a hornet was stung two times and just unfortunately was stung so, so st strongly. The effect was uh, very strong, so he came to hospital. That's why even just one or two stings will be so painful, even deathful for some people because people. Some people have allergy, allergy for venoms, for venoms of this or another wasps, because hornet is also a wasp and dangerous because can sting. Here I have a males, males they have a lone antenna and they are not stinging. Yes, here so many males, they are not stinging fortunately. That's why I can show them easily. But if you, but if you don't know who are male, who are not female, and who you work up, do not try to make experiment. For that, everyone should have should have experience and knowledge. Even experience not enough knowledge, because I can see here that this is a. Female. Females can be small, but this is a very small one. But some males, he's trying to trying to sting me. He's uh, instinctively trying to turn abdomen and try to trying to sting me. But he has only male genitalia and cannot sting me, fortunately. But he has also long antennae and slender body and pale yellow coloration pale yellow coloration and two times smaller than these females I can show you the biggest one the biggest one so you can you can compare this is a male and this is a male and this is a female yeah you see, like this, believe me, male two times bigger, female two times bigger, I show on my video camera, this is a small male, and this is female, and do not try to take even you think dead female, because if female not dead, she can sting still with her abdomen. She can sting with her abdomen. She's turning abdomen just instinctively as well and can sting. Even she will not fly, but the body or the abdomen can move and can sting you. Now this one is fully dead, so that's why I can keep it in my hands. Male is alive and definitely female. Female is just dead. This is female and this is small male. But some males can be bigger. And by the way, it's quite interesting that during this work today with nest, I noticed that male is um, mating with female, even just in some distance. 
very closely closely near near the nest yeah one just a female big one was crawling just uh, on the floor just uh, on the attic and male was just on the body of a female and was trying to copulate to mate with the female so that's why probably um, just my suggestion but it's quite visible that female and male was they were all together from the same nest so this is it means uh, their behavior not like in honeybees where queen should go outside and mate somewhere with many males of honeybees for hornets we can mate even inside one nest maybe this is not the general rule she's trying she's trying to bite me with the mandibula by the way but not so hard not so hard just trying just trying to bite me with mandibula but I'm just patient about it yeah and also trying to turn and sting me <laughs> with genitalia so genitalia is sharp it looks like sting also so it's just pin pinning like a small touch of pin but that's not dangerous so this some story for today I will try to show you some mails later and tell you story about it maybe in the morning and I need to feed them definitely with honey honey because I want to show them how they're cleaning how they're moving a little bit about their behavior just in a close close up and and finally I can show you about the size of a queen's this queen and this one we are dead so that's why I can put them on my first just to show you how many of them will be on my first yes in on my hand in my hand I already tested it in Russian actually in my Russian video 10 females were just here what I'm going to show you I put them I have seen some video with a Japanese hornet a Japanese hornet is a bigger than this one but this one looks also not very small looks pretty strong and especially females yeah so you can recognize so this I keep here 10 10 queens 10 queens so I can show you on the camera so these these are 10 dead queens of European hornet Vespa Carabra and you can recognize they're not very small they're pretty big they're pretty big body is pretty large and of course when they're alive they are very dangerous and can sting very painfully so that's why they're very dangerous and do not try to investigate the nest without necessary purpose and without equipment because they can sting and sting can be with very hard consequences for your health you can even can stop breathing so this effect can be very uh, surprisingly deadful even that's why you, you can go to hospital or even can die if you are, have no any support or help from another people that's why try to be very very careful if you are going to forest do not stay near somewhere near the nest and if you can see worse just make another allocation for your camp to some way in in a forest or just to avoid the place with this strange really strange very big wasps European hornets or in other types of hornets 
which can sting very painfully because they are very dangerous. Thank you for watching and that's a short story in English. I can create another story later because I'm a really, 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 little bit tired and difficult to create story for today. But thank you for watching, press likes, write your comments, ask your questions and stream is just developing or more quickly and I will put my recorded video later on my channel channel so visit from my channel from time to time just type Viktor Fursov entomologist and you can find many of my videos about entomology about biology about your you know, Ukrainian scientists about English language about some conferences in biology and entomology and definitely also about you see many different insects so because entomological subject is number one on my on my channel thank you for watching i stop my stream <laughs> actually because i need to put here okay thank you for watching like press like write your comments and put your just finger just in on a screen on just on a somewhere here in computer and just on the bottom you will receive some messages about new videos just on small bell click on a bell and of course write your comments i'm very interested to know about do you know about these hornets have you met them have you been stung by them because it's a hard experience i do not wish you to have this experience and do you afraid of them? Ro write your comments about your experience with different hornets which are living in your area. I will really appreciate your kindness writing comments and discussion about hornets which you personally know in your area. It will be interesting to know which hornets are living in your area in Asia, Africa, Australia or is northern or south. America or in Europe or somewhere in very 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 large Russian Federation and other Asian countries as well. Now this video in English can be shown everywhere in the world. Thank you for watching, like, comments and press on the bell and subscribe. Bye bye! Best greetings from Victor Furso, entomology beekeeper teacher good luck yes and i show you these big monster on my hand oh falling down thank you for watching bye bye <music>